because when you look at the arteries in an autopsy of a heart attack victim, you see a lot of cholesterol built up in the arteries. Therefore, the cholesterol was the cause of the heart attack. That's like saying, hey, every time there's a fire in my neighborhood, I notice firefighters at the scene of the crime. So they must be the cause of each fire. That's a stupid thought, isn't it? The firefighter analogy doesn't work here. Our understanding of how cholesterol plays a role in cardiovascular disease is not based solely on the fact that there's cholesterol in plaque. That was just one discovery in a long chain of discoveries that led to our current understanding. The determination that LDL cholesterol, which is a measure of how much cholesterol is being carried by LDL particles through the blood, causes atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease was based on over 200 studies, including prospective cohorts, genetic studies, and randomized controlled trials with over 2 million participants and 20 million person years of data. And those with low LDL cholesterol levels throughout their entire lives have very low risk of cardiovascular disease and lowering LDL cholesterol by almost any means, including diet and medication, lowers risk to a predictable degree. So that would be like reducing the number of firefighters in a certain area, and then that's somehow leading to less fires. But that obviously isn't the case. And we've further refined our understanding. We now know that it's the ApoB, which is a sort of protein tag on LDL particles and other lipoproteins, which acts as a sort of magnet with compounds within the artery wall. This is what holds it in the subendothelial space along the artery wall long enough to initiate the development of a plaque. So directly measuring ApoB is the most accurate way to predict risk because it accounts for all of the potential cholesterol carrying compounds that can contribute to plaque development. But LDL particles make up the majority of them, so measuring LDL cholesterol is also a pretty good way to assess risk.